against the number one defense in the league. John, would you start him or would you start Jackson, who's been taking his place? I think I'll start Bibby. Our officials tonight, Jack Neese, James Capers, Leon Wood, a good crew. Leon Wood used to play in the NBA. Bibby carries a two-point shot from outside. One selfish. Here comes David Robinson coming off a nice performance last night. Tim Duncan also played well last night, Danny. He had 18 points. Away. They're going to try to go to him as much as they can. It's Duncan again over Weber with the D-box rebound here, and he quickly triggers it. A lot, and they try to get the, the other guy in foul trouble. ITNT NBA Thursday Spanish language feed now available. Punching. Flash of defense by Duncan. The Kings are another team that tests your defensive concentration because of the ball move breakdown mentally. They'll get an easy basket or a layout. Parker to Duncan. Weber knocks it away. Shot clock down to 13. Clean hit. Clean defense by Weber. Duncan and Weber on the block. And Weber called right there. Same player. That plantar fasciitis is really bothering him. Duncan got it inside from Robinson. Out of bounds it goes. Well, Pages. They're not really a quick team on the floor right now. San Antonio Spurs have hit two of their first five shots. Now two of six. Here comes Bibby out of the pack and off to the races. Kings have missed their last five. Weber beats beautifully inside the Stiakovic. Chris Weber can do that as well as any big man in the NBA. Steven Jackson has six of San Antonio's nine points. Weber twirls inside across the lane. And Duncan was trying to defend, and Tim Duncan picks up the personal foul. That's the first on him. Well, this is the beautiful thing about Weber is he, he didn't even see the ball coming, but he just reacted so quickly. A lot of big guys can pass out of the pulse, but there's a guy in the middle of the fast break. Duncan tries to take it in. Poked away through his legs, picked up by Christie. And then Kirby again comes out of the pen. It's Weber by Parker. Right there. Tim Duncan's got three points, and he'll tack on two more. And Jackson's got six. Duncan's got five. They've accounted for all the scoring across the lane. Tim Duncan with the weather rebound. That's good. Oh, Mike Baby leading the break. Little look away pass right there to C-Web. C-Web spectacular spin move, even for a big guy. There's some. All the weeks out, we do know Willis is for the Duncan with a nice scan shot. Well, again, Kevin, all the weeks out help. He could go by his guy and score one on one anytime he wanted, but he, he knows that if he puts it on that one more dribble, that the floods are coming. Bobby Jackson gets it. Nice steal. Up high and down hard. Chris Weber. Here's Tony Parker. He's flying down the baseline in fine two. And that's how Bobby Jackson usually scores. He gets to Weber, and Duncan is on him. Pushing his way inside, double team, yet somehow Danny got it to go. Well, he did a great job. Tim Duncan's got five and takes it down the lane. Rebound by Weber, that's his third of the game. Bobby Jackson! Which is going to look a little Jackson between the legs of Coldwater. And then outside, Weber for three. Smith with the rebound, and that ties the rebound now at the end of one quarter. Weber in his seven to lead the Kings. And takes it off the deck and knocks it away. Oh, look at the patience to fire. Jimmy Jackson the rebound. Weber is open to shoot. Jamie is he's mixing up his stuff real well. Going outside, going in, he's making passes. And he's definitely got a stern look about him that I like. Defensive three-second violation. This first miss. Nice rebound by Willis. Back to Smith, the pump of the drive. Kicked it inside by Weber. It's a his natural position, and we saw this combination a lot last year in the playoffs. Look at Tim Duncan freaks his way down the lane and get a foul out of the Kings defense. Kings have hit their last four. Jackson on Jackson trying to scoop it inside. David Robinson is there. By the way, David Robinson has never looked as good as he's looking right now in the last three, four, five years, Danny. I agree. He's running the floor well. He's rebounding, blocking shots. He's doing a little bit of everything. The turnovers, and the Spurs have eight. And a beautiful feed by Stevie Jackson on the perimeter right there. Vladi has no chance. If Duncan catches the ball that low, there's no ch time for anybody to get there to help. Well, they're getting to him, and because of the standing, all the white shirts on the white side, on the, on the opposite yeah. side, he's got to take a jump shot. Wow. Tim Duncan with the incredible shot. He now has a game-high 12. 
And nine points by Chris Weber leads the Kings. And they're trying to make the post speeds with David Robinson, and Vlade is just in the lap, so Tim has to step out right there, and he's having his way right now. Last few baskets over Keon Clark. Well, and you look at the white shirts on the opposite side of him. When he goes up to take a shot because of the lack of movement on the weak side, nobody is being occupied or making himself a threat. In the field and over three minutes. Go inside again. Here's Fiakovic. Picked up. Fiakovic just picked up his first foul moments ago. Bobby Jackson. Who is untouched and uncontested. Claimed by Duncan. Shot clock at six. David Robinson scoreless so far until right there. Chris Weber's got five rebounds tonight. Now, Tim Duncan does a good job right there. He gets a piece of it, but the weak side defense not there to help Tim Duncan guard his man. Got that youthful energy. He comes to play every night. Plays with a lot of energy, but he's got to start making some shots. Work hard on his shooting in the offseason, but that's where the team really needs him. Take care of the basketball and make some shots. Front of move by Steven Jackson takes it in. The foul. And Steven the play in the second. You know, you look up there in Sacramento, they're only shooting 34% from the field right now. And, uh, and that's uh, Why don't you guys find somebody difficult to vote for? Bobby Jackson and Tim Duncan. That's quite obvious the way they play. Duncan gets it inside after Danny Ferry missed that long ring shot. And it's good at the pivot. Almost dead by Mike Bibby. But Doug Christie did have a poor first half. Well, one of the things that has to happen is that definitely the Kings have to tighten up defensively, get some breaks. Because right, and you know what? I get kind of tired of hearing, you know, true point guards. You know, and those guys are born coaches. You know, they're running in offense, but, you know, you got to, as a of eight, Spurs are one of six. Shooting for three. A turnover. Look at Weber. Triple like a guard and field like a guard inside. Trying to tap it in. Rock. Trying to get in shape, too. They're spotting him in the lineup, trying to probably pick up his confidence and get him acclimated to the game. Chris Weber's got 13. It's getting awful, awful good. That mid-range jump shot is improving all the time. Tim Duncan continues to dominate 17 points. Well, and getting back to Weber, I like his demeanor a lot more now because he seems to be about business. He's much sterner looking out there. He's not, you know, playing as... It's lightly tempo, but anytime you get on the blocks, take your time and drag it out, that size that Duncan has becomes an advantage. David is on the weak side to follow up. He came to San Antonio, another unforced error by the Spurs. Here come the Kings, shooting 35%. They can't get it from close in. The load is on a guy like Tim so much, every day in and day out. Uh, you have to distribute the ball and get to open guys to take some of the pressure off of him. But when he gets it going, you got to keep feeding it to him because it's nice when he gets it going. You got to keep, keep getting it to him. Tim Duncan tonight has been simply spectacular, John, in virtually every move he has made on the floor. Well, he's done it in the crowd. If you look at it, very seldom do you see him shoot with one single coverage. Most of the time it's double coverage, sometimes even triple coverage. And it's going there, and it's still he's capable of being effective. 52. Trailed by four, they trailed by as many as nine. Weber can't go. And as they win. Duncan, Weber on him. Duncan carving his way down. Gives to Kevin Willis with a nice feed. Well, I find that play interesting, too, because Bruce Bowen was open the entire play. Tim Duncan had to see him, and even he didn't it's honor his offense. Chris Weber's got 15. I feel like Chris is playing more to win than just to play and putting up numbers. I think there's substance to his game. Well, and I think he's mixing his game up. He's going inside. He's... This is the beauty of having a big guy that can step out on the court right there. You have to honor his outside shot, and we saw him miss the easy dunk, but he's not going to miss this one. Good job of reading the defense and getting to the rim. Weber's got 17. Rebound by Goldwater. It comes into a game. You can't play like the other players. You've got to be noticed with extraordinary hustle. Keon Clark is back in. <laughs> I don't think they've ever tested him for steroids either. Or body fat. Steve Smith again hit his first three. Transition baskets they can get regardless of how many fast break or alternatives. Chris Weber has 19 points to equal our week. Great to have you with us tonight. Fourth quarter is underway, and Steve Smith begins it with a bang. He's had a great night shooting teams along with Dallas, who have not been beaten on their home floor this year. Well, and this is something that you don't see much with the Kings. They just basically cleared out 
it looked very much the way the Spurs play. They just clearly just controlled the tempo of this game. I, I expected a wilder and faster paced game. Jackson trying to pickpocket Duncan. David Robinson, six to come in for the San Antonio Spurs. Nick Duncan, missing outside, rebound by Bobby Jackson. Just trying to feel and get his confidence. He made a mistake at the end of the half when he went for it. Uh, the big guy uh, at the end of the half. So you think that they get a lot more offensive rebound. Steven Jackson launches one. Clark catches a mid-flight. And he's aggressive, and neither one of them are forcing shots. Tim Duncan's got 21 points. Give him a lot of fire too, but you've got to be very impressed with what's going on with Jackson and Biddy because both of these guys are creating such a problem. To oh. Well, and that's what happens. Once that ball starts dropping for you guys, it has an effect on you defensively. Guys start picking up loose balls. They're being aggressive. The crowd has gotten involved in here. Doc, but you even respect the organization, the organization a lot more for standing behind the coach. A lot of coaches would be just as forceful if management knows. Antonio on a 6 nothing run. They missed seven. Consecutive shots now, eight straight misses by the Kings. Here comes Jackson, a foot race with Stojakovic, who picks up the foul the other way. And suddenly, with about three to play and a second foul put on Stojakovic, it is a five point spur lead. And coming out of the timeout right there, pick and slip to the basket. Divac gets hung up just for a second, helping on Duncan. Beautiful pass and finish right here. But this is excellent. How, how great is it to have a four man that you can play the pick and roll with? Just turns it over for the first time in this quarter. San Antonio, 18 turnovers. The Kings have 11. And Weber down the lane. And a foul called on the defending Tim Duncan. Well, that was a good job that time by Jackson because the perimeter defense has been extremely aggressive by the Spurs, but he breaks it down by penetrating, which enabled Weber to come down the lane wide open for an easy basket and a foul. And that's a Jackson. Wow. Weber. For the tie, Divox can't get it loose inside, picked up by Jackson. Clock 116 to play in the fourth quarter. Here comes Duncan. Christie grabbed it, tried to steal it, and is called for the foul. Weber is guarded by Duncan. Will switch inside, Biggie going to Weber, and a foul. I, did you tough time getting baskets themselves, as great of offensive team as they are? Spurs are shooting 42%. Duncan. He's got 23, partially deflected. He's confident as heck, and he's willing to take the shots. Knocked away by Steve Jackson. And two consecutive nights, John. Well, and I like their toughness. I mean, it's, uh, a lot of times the Kings have come back at him, and they've responded both times. Inside, they fight. Christie can't handle it. Weber. It's Bobby Jackson for three. And the buzzer, but too little, too late, and... San Antonio has won, and the Kings suffer their first loss at home this season. Tim, the last time that uh, you guys met against the Sacramento Kings, they beat you by 24. You returned the favor. Talk about the defense tonight. That was huge for us. These guys can score in bunches, and uh, uh, we're up seven with like seven minutes to go. Now we're down one with, uh, with six minutes to go. These guys can score in bunches, so uh, we stayed with it defensively. I thought we were great. Uh, blocked out, rebounding the ball. I thought we were great pushing it back at them, too. Talk about the offense, because that has been a sore spot for this team. You finally get some contribution from the bench, and you were also able to get to the free throw line. Yeah, it, it was great. Guys came off and did their jobs. It, it, it was great. Uh, we've been not shooting the ball as well as we can. Uh, we're doing a better job of taking care of the ball, especially tonight. Uh, if we can do that and, and get as many possessions as we can and as many good shots as we can, it'll work for us. A win tonight, a win last night against Seattle. Is this enough to put you guys over the hump? I hope so. I really do. I really hope so. Uh, we're building our confidence. Uh, hadn't been playing real well, but hopefully this will turn us over. All right, congratulations, Thank Tim. You. Let's send it back to you, Kevin.